at the gun show with Brad Buckner. You know, we get a lot of hassle online. People, okay. your stuff's already sharp. You gotta you you go using sharp knives. Well, I got one for you. They want to see it dull to sharp in front of their eyes. Can you do it right now? I can, but I'm not going to use that side. I'm going to use the dullest side. This oh come side, on! I actually wouldn't. Ooh, that, that actually bites. So this side, you know, it's ob I mean, that's that's deep in the skin. That's the back of the knife. Of course, it's not going to cut. So let's. Just get busy, okay? That's the back of the knife. I turn it over and I run it through the V and I'm just gonna start ripping metal off. And I'm gonna see if I can keep most of it on the table so you can have, there's a good one. And they'll get, uh, the, the little pieces will get bigger as the, the width on this uh, increases. And that'll happen as I draw this through there. The bearing surface gets larger, the metal gets thinner, but it cuts more off every time. Oh, there's a good one. There's just like this. So from dull to thin, doesn't get much duller than the back of a butter knife. So we just do this. Cut the metal down. And I'm not going to stop and check and stop and check. That slows it down. I want to kind of hurry up. I'm going to stop in a little bit. Uh, I, I, I'm going to wait a little bit and see if I actually stop when it's sharp. And I don't think it's sharp yet. It was first. So just like that. Pull it right through there. Cut the metal off at the back of that knife. I'm surprised that I'm not getting bigger, longer shavings like I did with Last this one right here. Okay, so just like that. Just like that. All right, let's check and see what kind of progress we've actually made. Uh, oh, well, the blade is getting hot. Okay, uh, it's not even ready. That was really, okay, this is like a sixteenth of an inch thick. Um, I bit off quite a bit this time, but that's, uh, that's just keep going. And it would be easier if I was pulling the knife off the table like that. But I want to keep all the metal on the table. You know, one of our, our more popular videos yes. was, uh, God, now shot years ago. Um, at Arrowhead Golf Course, in Roxborough State Park in, yes. in Colorado. I remember that. And you took a butter knife, and uh, you took it from dull to sharp, right in front, one take, just like you're doing now. Yes. And this, the, the scenery was so amazing. The, you mean we, the green screen? Yeah, the, that we got so yeah. much of a hat. We, got, we, got, we said there were green screen in it. And uh, then somebody said, until the woman walked green through your green screen yeah. and found <laughs> out that it really was, you know, the background. Uh, it, it was mountainous trees. And, uh, and I'll put a link into that video okay. in the comments, because that's a really interesting video, and one of our more popular ones, too. All right. And uh, interestingly enough, we've gotten some, some views that say there's a UFO it yes. appears above the uh, background uh, uh -huh. in the video, and I'll, I'll put a link on that too. And I've checked it out, and it kind of is unexplainable, Brad. It, it is a UFO esque. I, I never looked at it. I don't think I paid that much attention. It's so like sure. two seconds of some orbs flying in the background. Okay. Uh, well, here's one for you. Okay. What if there were people on Earth that was actually 2,000 feet tall? No, it's not. Okay. What? A thousand to two thousand feet tall, and they're the ones who actually built the pyramids. If you're two thousand feet tall, you just use your hands to pick up those blocks. I'll get into it more later. You're gonna have to. Crazy brand. And then their children were fifteen feet tall. And the downward spiral continued. Well, you just shrieked me up my ears there. You gave my whole body a tingle there. Okay, cool. Ooh, see that? <laughs> All right. That was a, that was a chalkboard feeling for me. It's actually hard on these fingers. Okay. See those two fingers? Oh yeah. Okay. That, that's actually hard on your fingers. But let's see. Oh my God. I don't know. I might have bit off more than I chew this time. But I do laugh and tell people if I was in prison and I got out when that butter knife was made into an actual knife, I just keep working and working. And working. Right. Uh, yeah, you like might. Well, you know, we're under five minutes into the video here, so. Okay. 
And the chips are still flying. Now your job is going to be to put this back together and put it on the knife. <laughs> I don't know about this. That is really. Well, that's pretty bad. You look burnt. It does. It looks deformed and it actually hurts. And I do have to work this weekend. So let's change to this. I'll work on it a little different. Okay, so now you're using the tungsten corners. Yeah, I'm using the open face uh, straight line side, and I can't take as much metal off that way. But I am taking off metal, just like this. All right, we'll turn it over. Come back at me. And I'm going to hold still. You can see how, how much of a bevel I'm getting on the knife. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and you look at that side. So let's see. You know that. You know what? That that's is starting to bite, Brad. That's actually starting to bite. Oh, you're doing it. We're just over six minutes. You've okay. talked a lot about nonsense, Let's go back and you're getting this. it sharp. So, like I said, got the brown I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a couple more minutes here because I'm excited. Okay. I've seen what you can do already. Get with it. I got to get out of prison. I got to get out of prison today. The warden said you make that knife sharp for me. I'll let you out. What are you in for? Uh, I wasn't wearing my mask. Yeah, I wasn't wearing my mask. I was in Colorado where the communists live. <laughs> I tell you what, what, not wearing the mask wasn't what made him mad. I actually said, I'm from Wyoming. I don't have to wear a mask. Oh, that oh yeah. yeah. Do you know that Well, well, well County, northern, most northern uh, oh, county in Colorado is actually yeah. petitioning the state of Wyoming and Colorado to secede from Colorado and become part of Wyoming. We don't want them. Yeah, they're good people probably, but we just don't want Colorado. Right. Yeah, they're really actually doing that. That would be uh, Wellington area, Wellington, Colorado, north of Wellington and maybe even Wellington. And I think that's called Weld County. I'm not positive, but I think it's Weld, W-E-L-D, Weld County. Right. Let's see. The show hasn't even started yet, by the way. I don't way. want to do that for a living. Oh. Okay, it's, 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 it's at least starting to make the paper vibrate instead of just sliding right well. off. Uh, all right, let's do it again. A man dedicated to his trade. That is a lot of metal to remove. I, it's easier to do it to this side because it's already pretty thin. But to, to actually do the back of the knife, well, that's a whole other story. So what I want you guys to do is find an old butter knife like this, an old bread knife, butter knife, whatever you want to call it table knife and I want you to make a video running it through here like this with your sharpener and then you put it on my channel YouTube sharpens best or send it to us sharpens best at gmail.com there you go and uh, we'll put your now don't cheat I don't cheat I don't ever cheat um, don't use a, a sander or a grinder or something first and then do this for like one minute and say oh I did it this fast because in the first place, I'm going to call bullshit on you. Oh, no, you came back. <laughs> um, and then you'll get the typical bullshit treatment from Brad. <laughs> um, so, oh, it, it, it is catching. Let's get busy. Oh, uh, it's taking longer than I thought it was going to. We are still under 10 minutes, even with all your gibberish. Okay, well, I'm going to change the way I'm holding my hand on it. Okay. Yeah, so tell me why you're doing this. So you're going to be floating around the gun shows. Well, I am. Uh, most of the Tanner shows and uh, PE shows. So PE is generally uh, Castle Rock and um, uh, Greeley 
and Loveland, Colorado. I'll put the links down below of those yeah. uh, shows and schedules as well. And, uh, this will be a and, very informative video, Brad, even though it's dull. Yeah. And I don't mean that. I mean, I mean it's, it, it will be. It will be sharp. It will be, but right now it's dull. And I'll tell you what, I'm finding out that my weak spot is my torn potato cup right there. And I'm really starting to aggravate it. Oh, uh, man. I'm not going to quit. I was actually arm wrestling with a guy half again bigger than me. Oh, man, I forgot to push record. Oh, probably. <laughs> um, I've done that. I've we've done that, Brad. Yeah. We, uh, and then you laugh about it. All right. Rip at it. Back with the tungsten. Just the yeah. square corner. Just a little straight, open face, straight open line. Face. And boy, is it going to be chewed up. But if I need to make a knife, and I can, and I do, I don't care if the blade is chewed up or what. I just want it to cut. Alright, so let's see. How close we are. It looks a lot sharper. It's, it's just cat. Ooh, oh. guess what happened? Oh, okay. Oh, and it's catching. Well, it, it definitely catches on the on the fingernail. All right, let's do it again. I gotta get a hold of it this way. <laughs> Woo! It's amazing the friction uh, and the, the heat on the blade from doing what I'm doing. I know, look at that. It's, it's making your knife sharpener red hot. Yes, and, and no wonder it burns <gasps> my fingers. It makes it red hot. All right. I really want to see somebody out there make a video. Do it all in one one take. Don't shut it off and start over. Don't. Ah. You all right, buddy? Yeah. Uh, Rose. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's in. Oh. It's in. There. And we saw it live. Hang on. <laughs> I wondered about that. That's smart. Oh man. I'm just trying to catch it with a sharp knife. Huh? I'm peeling my skin off. <laughs> That's funny. You think my knives aren't sharp? Look at the blade. Full of you. Yeah, it's full of me. All right, I think it's gone. <laughs> That's a rare moment, by the way. It is a rare moment. So see Brad hurt himself. Okay, we're all right. Yeah. Right. Now that's going to scare some people. It scared me. It hurt. So, someone comment scary moment at that time that it happened at. All right. Because I am putting quite a bit of pressure on my left thumb to hold this thing. And look at the, the metal flying off. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of surprised uh, that I haven't been cut more, that I haven't been hurt more, uh, because my knives are insanely sharp. Um, and then when I do this and I do that, you know. <laughs> but that, I'll never get cut that way. I, I trust my judgment on how sharp they are. All right. On, cut. Oh, that's better. It's cutting paper. It's still a little thick. And you are OCD I am. when it comes to the knife sharpening. Because right now, that's cutting uh, any type of, type of cheese that you have to offer. And I don't like admitting defeat <laughs> at all. I, I, know. I do not like that. I will not phony up my videos, and I do not like defeat. Unless it's her feet, and then, you know. I like the feet. They're very pretty. Very pretty. Got pretty feet. It was not All right. Unbelievable 
how much metal is coming off and it isn't done yet. But if you think about it, let's say that it's a sixteenth of an inch thick, that means you have to take at least a thirty-second off of each side at an angle that will bring you into the apex to the center. So you have to take a thirty-second of an inch off of the whole length of it in and a thirty-second off of that side, and that's actually quite a bit of steel. Do it this way again. Ah. That it, sound. It is, it is a little bit like fingers on a chalkboard. Well, it's cutting that paper. Oh, uh, I'm on the wrong side. Well, we'll vote him back in. Sometimes. Okay, that's hurry. Make the metal fly. And of course, a lot of this depends on how much pressure I put on it here versus here versus here. Um, and I'm trying to keep it, you know, about the same all the way through. I think I'm gonna call it good. We'll see. And then I'm gonna let you examine uh, the blade that I've created on here, let you look at it uh, up close and personal, so to speak. This, in a way, this knife is actually pretty soft. And the softer the metal, the less sharp edge you can put on it because it has a tendency to tear. All right, let's see. That is not razor sharp, but at least it will catch now. God, I hate to do this, but let's do it. <laughs> We're going to run it out of, out of video here. Well, they know where the scroll button is. I, I just hate quitting. I like to finish the job. I don't like to quit. And I know what it is capable of doing, so I just I just want to get there. It's pretty thick, so it's actually going to have a pretty thick cutting edge on it. It'll be 20 degrees, 10 on each side, but it's going to be a longer face on it. Anyway, I'd like to see you guys, anybody that has knife sharpening systems, knife sharpeners, other than electric, it's some kind of a belt, do what I'm doing with your knife sharpener and do it as quick as I do it, all right? And, uh, you know, just, just create the same kind of a cutting edge on, on the same kind of a knife as I'm doing with your sharpening system, and then we'll compare it and all that stuff. Or do it with one of ours and get a bonus one. There you go. Or do it with one of my sharpeners. You only got uh, four more hours today, uh, nine tomorrow, and eight the next day, Brad. Yeah, so, so it's I okay. got to get this done. Yeah. And somewhere along that line, I've got to sell some products. Well, your hands. I'm talking about your Oh, your my hands. hands, yeah. My hands are getting old. Just like that. And this one? You'll never guess how I did that. You slammed it in something. <laughs> I, took the, I took my floor mat out of my car, and I was banging it on the side of my car, back on the tire, to get the dirt out of it. And I overshot a little bit, and I smacked my thumb right into the fender well on my car. And boy, did it hurt. And I, you stand there, and you just laugh, thinking, did I really just smack my own car with my hand while I'm cleaning off my uh, floor mat? And I did. All right, let's quit on this one.
Come on, please. Okay, well that's, that's definitely that's nice. better. That's nice. All right, so now I'm gonna hold still, let you see how, how far I had to cut in. And we'll do the other side. That's actually a very long cut in to get to the apex. Uh, oh, I actually really bites. This is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care and you have yourself a darn good day.